We don't have that great of weather to talk about, unfortunately. <laughs> Here, there's the bad news. I'm getting right to the point. It's not looking all that great. Tomorrow looks like a wet day. Then it's going to be chilly. And then we heat up once again. You just can't buy a nice sunny crisp fall day around here. Let's get outside and take a look at how the evening is shaping up. It is warm still in the 70s out there. Not as humid as last night, but it is pretty steamy for the time of year. But things looking great as we look live towards Center City from our studios on Skycam 3. And as we take the vantage point from across the river, everything pretty quiet as well on our live neighborhood network camera there in Palmyra Cove. But Take a look at storm scan three and you'll see the green. It's kind of coming at us from all sides here. We've got this one band of showers poised to move into Delaware overnight. This is the band of rain that's going to impact much of the area during the day tomorrow. And then this one will come through tomorrow night into Thursday morning. So none of this is extremely heavy rainfall, but it is going to be a prolonged period of unsettled weather taking us into Thursday. And that's when the temperature begins to drop right now. Taking a look at our almanac 84 degrees was the high today full 15 degrees degrees above average, only six degrees off the record. And look at that morning low today, 70 warmer even than our normal high of 69 degrees. So we have been so far skewed above average and that's not going to change much. It's still warm out there right now. 72 in Philadelphia, 72 degrees in Wilmington down to the south. It's still mild with temperatures in the 70s in Atlanta and Charleston and Raleigh. But back to the west, that's where the cool air is. 53 in St. Louis. And as we continue west, it's in the 30s in Cheyenne, 45 in Omaha and 46 in Wichita. So I guess if I had to choose, I would rather have unseasonable warmth in October than unseasonable cold like they're seeing in portions of the central part of the country tonight. Future weather shows just a few clouds overnight, but tomorrow morning you'll start to see those showers creep in from the west. The heaviest will be off to the south during the day, but notice it's just an unsettled day. Here's 4 p.m. showers, some pockets of steadier rain, a slow afternoon commute. It quiets down for a bit tomorrow evening, and then another batch of rain comes through overnight tomorrow night and into your Thursday morning. Let's take a quick look at how much rain we're talking here. Again, it's not heavy flooding rain really, but we could see upwards of a half inch in some spots across the area especially off to the south down around Rehoboth Beach where some of the heaviest downpours will be located. Overnight, we'll see temperatures drop down into the mid 60s. It's partly cloudy and mild. Tomorrow clouds, some rain around at any time, the heaviest to the south, but scattered showers from basically morning until night. And speaking of a shower, there could be a thunder shower for the Eagles game on Thursday night in Charlotte. 75 degrees there. It'll be much cooler here, but if you're at home watching the game right here on CBS 3, well, It'll be nice and dry for you. 66 Thursday, but look at the warm up. 80s again by the weekend. I remember sitting here two weeks ago and saying, you never know, this could be our last 80 right, degree right, day. Right. And we've had like eight since then. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep we've maybe, just them all. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the last one. <laughs> maybe, and that's seven. You maybe, never know. Maybe Sunday will be the last one. Here's hoping. Yeah. Thanks, Kate.